We're just scratching around at this dump here, and I think I've got another pitcher. Yep, that's what it is. We're gonna do some exploring today. We're gonna see if we can find any new spots to look for old bottles. We'll get back to you if we find anything. The water bugs remind you of sunflower seeds? Sort of. They're like sunflower seeds dancing on the water. Yeah. All right, we're going up the creek. Kind of smells like fish in here. Might be a dead fish somewhere. the train bridge. This is what we're looking for, pieces of old trash that give us an indication that there's other stuff that's further upstream that we might find that could be whole. Going up the waterfall, how are we going to do it? How are we going to do it? Well, I guess just climb up it? Yeah. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> no, this is Probably not super old, it's got this, it's got the ridge line on the bottom, it's got a little kick up. So there's a lot of rubble right here, I'm checking out and we've got our first full bottle here. Oh, Sydney found it. oh that's cool looking. New York Stoneware. We got this, it says Carter's on the bottom. Carter's C11 8K number one. It's got a cork top. That could be a master ink. I have to clean it up and check it out. Alright, I'm just cleaning this one up a little bit. It does say 32 fluid ounces on the top. So I don't know if it's an ink or not, but it does say Carter's on the bottom. I know Carter's is an ink company. So if it is, that's my first ink that I've ever found. Sydney's still scratching around over here. I see your jug top. What's it say on it, Sid? Um, it says New York Stoneware Co. It's really pretty. Yeah. It looks like a two gallon. Yep, would have been a two gallon crop. There's a big iron layer right here, so this looks like a dumping area to me. Look at this little cup. Like a little tin cup. <laughs> I just really thought that was a tree. Yeah, this one was stuck in the roots. Just a little cork top medicine. But it's got a big crack in it, so I'll put it back in its resting place. Ball. I think that's 1923 to 33. Still has a lid with it. Kind of cool. Okay, Sydney so found something. Look! A toad. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Toad. Goodbye. Just found this. I have no idea what this is. Looks like, almost like a handle. 
it's broken, but I don't know what that is. It has numbers right here. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Got some geese over here. We're gonna go up. This place looks pretty cool. I guess they drive through here. There's a ramp on that side and then a ramp over here. Whoop! Whoop! It's, it's slippery. You could. Yeah, it looks like they drive over here. It's kind of cool. So we were just looking around in the dirt here and we found this, which it looks like a pitcher. And then I was looking around some more and look at that. It's a pitcher. I don't remember what these are called, but it's like um like a silver print maybe? I'm not sure. But super, super cool. Wonder who this was. gonna do what, do what we can to try and preserve that. I think I've got another pitcher. Yep, that's what it is. That is amazing. Wow, look at that. Can I see? Yeah, check that out. That is amazing. I wonder who this was. We have a female and now a male. It's really getting eaten away on the back, so gotta be careful about this. Yeah. That is so stinking cool. Awesome. Here they are cleaned up just a little bit. I've learned that these are called ambrotype photographs. They're printed directly onto the glass. And I've learned that they're they were popular between the mid 1850s to the 1860s. Uh, they weren't used too much after that, but I read that they were used um, into at least the 1880s. So these are pretty old. I don't know who they are. I'm hoping that one day I might be able to find out either who they are or, um, you know, just a, a little bit more about it. That's part of the fun of this whole hobby is learning what we can about the past and to find someone's photograph like this is pretty stunning, really. I never thought I'd find something like this, especially two of them that are intact like this. And there's the master ink. As you can see, this is another smaller ink in the picture here. This would have been filled from a larger ink like this. So it is a master ink. And there's a few other things here that I'll show you in another video. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.